Persian rugs But she's from Nicaragua I thought she was Persian Hi guys, it's your girl Jada Shawnette. So welcome back to my channel. If you're not already, please hit the subscribe button. So I'm dropping these weekly vlogs where I'm letting y'all know what's going on in my life, updates on contracts, um, my job, every single thing. So I got this Issa Bond package, this goodie package that they sent me. So if y'all don't know, I did have like my first big contract that I signed last year and we are launching it this year. The campaign launches this year um, in April. So they're sending off the stuff now. I just wanna show y'all the little goodies, the packet um, that came in the package. So let's get to that. Wow, okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so there's this little no, thank you for supporting East Bond and joining the team. Please see a few items to assist you during your campaign. Love that. Um, there's a tumbler in here that Jada is about to use right now. Cool. Um, I don't know what this goes to. It's like a charger piece. Okay, this charger piece goes to... This cool little charging pad that they gave me. Um, this is pretty cool because I'm going to put this on my desk. I moved my desk back into my bedroom. So that is cool for that. And then I have a Bluetooth remote shutter. I guess this is for like taking pictures when I want to leave my phone somewhere, which is not something that I do often. But I guess I can try that. This is so cool. Okay, I don't know if y'all have ever seen these, but it's like where you tap your phone on the back of somebody else's phone, and then it'll pop up all of your links, like your Instagram, your YouTube, all of that stuff if you have a business website. Um, so this is pretty cool because I work at, you know, the bar, and this will be so dope instead of yelling at, over people trying to tell them my name. Uh -uh. And then I got a little journal to work, make sure I, I stayed focus as far as dropping my content and then in here they also gave me a little shirt with the isoban logo on it so that was pretty nice um yeah just checking making sure it's a small it's friday so i'm getting ready to go to work um the weekend has officially started i need to leave now so yeah i'm about to head to work um i'll catch up with y'all a little later on let y'all know what's going on. I also have another package that I need to open, but I'm gonna wait until after, like whenever I come home. All right, y'all. So I am doing a money count of all of the money that I made last night from working on the bar. Um, I don't know if I told y'all, but they put me on the bar. They trained me as a bartender. So, yeah. I am going to go ahead and do a money count because um, it was a busy night and I don't know how much money I made. So I just wanted to do that real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay, so I Okay, so my experience working on the bar is amazing so far. Only because I will say, one thing about it, people tip on a bar more than they tip you as a server. And I feel like that's because you're in their face. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, they see what you're doing. They can see, oh, well, she's not ignoring me because she don't want to talk to me. She's ignoring me because she's making drinks. Or she's ignoring me because somebody else is like, I, hey, I need you right now. Like, or something, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, since we already have gratuity added on our 
on everything that we bring up. That's great. Because gratuity when you... I'll explain that later. But that's great. But people always normally tip on top of the gratuity. Which they don't do that all the time when you're serving. Like you got to be a bomb ass server. Really be up their ass and they face. At where I work, I feel like the clientele, like... They don't normally tip on top of what they order. They see gratuity... You ordering, you ordering food, drinks, your bill is high. When it comes, you like, dang, and the gratuity no matter how, they're not tipping on top of that. For for the most part. So, but that's not the case in the bar. In the bar, they tip on top of gratuity. And me being pretty, they tip real good. Like, last night I had a girl that, every single time she asked me for water, she was tipping me like $5. And I was like... Dang, thank you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on giving you some water. And she was lit, but she was drinking that water for sure. So, yeah. She was the ones. She had the ones on her. And I was like, okay, bet. So, okay. All my money is lined up now. So, let's see. Let's see, time to do the money cash. Okay. And this is all my cash tips. At the bar that I work at, we get all of our cash tips. And then whatever people pay, like even if it was gratuity and they pay credit card, all of that goes onto a check. So, this is just my cash. We have a little check out. And I was like, you know what, I need to see. I need to see how much a bitch is really making. <laughs> I need to see how much a bitch is really making. So, on credit card tips, I had 479. 479. Okay. And cash, I walked home. When? That's five. That's two. So that's already said me. These are our ones. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, nine. So I made eight hundred and thirty-five dollars <laughs> plus four seventy-nine. I made thirteen hundred dollars last night. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. 
I got my own cabbage. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to go and put this in the bank. I don't not like have all this money and cash. Like, I'm gonna spend it. I need to go put it in the bank right now, right now, right now. Okay, guys. I have a sweet tooth. So look at what I got at the store. Some cinnamon toast crunch with marshmallows. You got it. The motherfucking hot chocolate. The hot chocolate. Okay. So, I would say I'm on this health kick, but I don't drink milk from the cow. Y'all have heard me say that before. I don't like the cow milk. So, I like Bamba Rice Club. I like almond milk. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the almond milk with it. I'm going to lie, I thought something was wrong with this because... This was all I seen, and I'm like, nah, this can't be right. But there's two packets you gotta pour into the hot milk. I ain't never seen that before, so I don't know. I'm just gonna pour this in here. Yeah, now this makes some sense, because now we're talking about something right here. Oh, that smells so good. It smells so good. It tastes like, it tastes like the cinnamon toast crunch milk. That's literally it. It's not, it's not hot chocolate. It's milk. It's literally cinnamon toast crunch milk. And I don't know why I was thinking it was gonna give hot chocolate, but it's not giving that. It's literally, look at that y'all. This is milk with marshmallows in it and cinnamon. Mm. I give it a six out of 10. It's not horrible, but it just tastes like I'm drinking milk and I don't really, I'm not fucking with that, so. We also got this nasty ass Pepsi that I wanted to try. I don't even like Peeps, but you know what? I'm gonna try it just because I wanted to see what it was gonna taste like, cause that's crazy. We're gonna try it real quick. I just, I don't know why the hell I just did this, but. <laughs> and that's just about to explode. I was like, he's looking for the bathroom. I should have opened the door right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Yeah, All right. Cheers okay. to this nasty drink. What does it taste like? A fucking flat ass Pepsi. Ew, mine's just flat. Mine's just sizzy. No, mine's just flat. It tastes like a regular Pepsi. It tastes like a regular Pepsi. <laughs> no, we don't. Yes, it does. <laughs> Eat, but it tastes flat. It don't give that crisp Pepsi. This just tastes like Pepsi to me. Lies. It tastes like... <laughs> Uh, like almost like a this vanilla Pepsi. An appointment for I do get a vanilla, like, it doesn't seem spectacular, like, but you see, if you keep drinking, it don't taste good. Like eating, eating candy, soda. <laughs> All right, so we're going to Pepsi Max. Let's see what we got. So baby got to get dressed out in a gown and they did all his vitals and everything. So now we're just waiting to do the procedure. He's so hungry, so thirsty, but he's not allowed to get anything because um, they don't want him to accidentally vomit. Maybe possibly get it in his 
lungs, but that's the sign for drink. He's about to get frustrated, honestly. But, I don't know. It is 11.45. So, let's see whenever they get him back. They're going to take him back without me to the procedure and then bring him to me whenever he's done. So, I'm going to head to the cafeteria and get something to eat while I'm waiting on him. I shouldn't have said that in front of him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You got a friend back in. Hi. Is he up yet? We've got a good sleeper in here. Lady <laughs> really liked. Oh. Liked that sleep. Yeah, he's sleep so sleepy. Mm. He's so cute. Thank you. I know I had like an iPad ready, but I was confused. Like, what's an iPad? I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, baby. So he is still asleep from the anesthesia. I've been trying to wake him up. Carter. Carter, baby. Hey. Hey, Papa. Hey. He is out, out, out. Hi. When you get to make the party. It's the beauty supply store so i can record this video for me to dye this wig i'm gonna do a watercolor what's that that you got um it's a pet a pet, uh -huh. and then this is your little. You also got a potato head, Mrs. Potato Head. These are all of the potato head pieces, so I'm gonna let her put them together and see what Mrs. Potato Head comes out like. So I'm gonna open this up for him, see if he likes this. He he's a texture person because of the autism. He likes things that are going to feel good to him. Um, squishy stuff is always a go with Carter. Ah! Damn it, Leonard! Okay. Yeah, you did a pretty good job. You did great at putting it together. Wow, look at that. Hey, bud, look. This one we picked that at the store. Okay. Crew, get off. You like it? You like that? Oh. Oh, Carter, can I see your legs? So I did tell you guys last time that Carter was going to an appointment to get something done to his legs as far as like Botox. And they did do the procedure where they injected some Botox in his mm. hamstrings and in his ankles, like all over his legs. So what they did is put his legs in these casts. So Carter stands on his toes. So they're trying to shape his foot to like bend at a 90 degree angle to fix his posture so he can hold mm. himself up and actually mm. walk. 
These are the little doe, the little piggies. But yeah, so we finally started the process. He got the procedure done. They put these casts on him. So he only wears this set of casts um, for a week. He got this done earlier this week. And then on next Thursday, he has another appointment. So the day before that, I have to take these off, unravel them, give him a good wash now. Because obviously he can't take, you know, like the normal bath since his legs can't get wet so i'm gonna take them off the day before and then the next day they're going to wrap him again in this cast they're going to range it to where it's more of a 90 degree angle for him um and it gets even closer to that correct posture that they want him to be in i also wanted to show y'all my nails i see this such an amazing job this time look at my little cow my <laughs> but um yeah this is this hand and then she did something different with this hand i really love this set i honestly could say this is probably like my favorite favorite set that i've had done by her honestly like i'm so in love show y'all what they look like this is a shirt this one's fly wear that and then the other one is I love me a good vintage shirt baby oh this fly and it's like got this um Wash gray, wash black. Dolce and Cabana. Then in the pajamas. All right, guys. So, New Motion is here because they are going to drop off Carter's new wheelchair and his gait trainer, which is basically just a walker that's going to help him um, practice walking. So, I'm going to drop it off at the house. Um, Carter had to be here so they can make sure that it is the right size and everything. So I'll let y'all see that. Let's see. Because he has a seat now, mm -hmm. so if he wants to take a little break from walking, mm -hmm. he can take a little break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So where he's adjusting his seat is right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the seat that he's going to be sitting on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
raise this just a little bit for them. Close it back down. This right here, you open this up. Mm -hmm. That's how I straighten it out for them. So. Okay, they're ready. <laughs> then what we'll do is, this right here is for the sips. Buckle on one side. And I got everything loose right now because I'm about to cinch them in here. Okay. So now he's got his hips really far back. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is we want to tighten these up. Pull him closer. Pull him closer. And then the same thing with this one because he says he's going to lean back. So, and then uh, this trigger right here, you push that. And when you get, I think, oh, I have it all before. But you push this one right where my thumb is. Mm -hmm. And you can bring him further back or closer. Okay. You know where you want it. This one right here does a pitching. So let's say if we want his hips forward some more. You push that and it will angle the pommel forward. Okay. And then this bottom one right here, see so it raises and lowers his pommel. So you want this close to him. So you want to promote him to stand on his own, but you want like a little bit of space to where if his legs does buckle or if he wants to sit, okay. he's not like sitting really far down. Okay. Yeah. His wheels, I think um, I saw another Riften in the garage. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, this one right here, does the lock. lock in so it only goes straight right there and then to release this push that mm -hmm. this is your brake you push it down to lock it in step on the top part to unlock it this is anti reverse so if you push it down the wheels will only go forward they won't come backwards and you flip it back up you have both directions and then this dial right here is resistance um you generally want to support like this for like to kind of keep the resistance up just a little bit so it's not so so much of a runaway mm -hmm. um but you can kind of figure out play with that as a see fit okay these are ankle pumps if he needs them uh it just unclips bring it around and all you'll do is you'll kind of loop it around his ankle and then click it back in. Okay. And that's just to keep his feet from if he has an issue like crossing feet, stuff like that when he's walking. <laughs> this right here, um, you can see he's sitting at a seven in the front. This right here raises and lowers. So as he burrows, we can just raise here and then we can pull a little bit more out of his seating system in here as well. Okay. So he's got plenty of girth. What you thinking, buddy? <laughs> Okay, so there they'll just go oh, wherever he needs. Got it, boy, yeah. caught him, caught him. Slide out as well. Okay. Little port, port oh, design. Wow. And the receiver's right there. So all you do is just line it back up. And push it down. Awesome. Pretty simple. So there's that. And everything I show you on this side is the same process. Same. Mm -hmm. Okay. His wheels, they do come off. Um, you want to make sure... His brakes are free. So his brakes are pushed to locks. So you just push it down, it locks in place, pull it back and unlocks. Okay. Um, and then with it unlocked, you just want to push and hold that center button. Oh yeah, out. they came off the same way. Yep. So just quick connects. And same thing going back in, just push and hold that center button. Mm -hmm. And slide it back in. Awesome. His back, if you ever want to take it off, um, there's usually these pins, are usually in those little holes right there. So right about, right about there. And that prevents you from accidentally bumping the switch. So what you want to do is you want to pull these pins out, push that switch forward, same thing on the other side. And with those, it just comes out. Comes right off. Okay. So enter, mm -hmm. you push up on this bar, right there, oh. just push up, uh -huh. and it does pull forward. Awesome. So would it bend with this still being on? Yes, ma'am. So it, it will. Um, it might not go as far. Oh, That's why I say either either take the back or the cushion off. Just you don't have to take both of them. Okay. And then anti tippers, he does have them. They're right here. So and they prevent the chair from tipping back. If you want to remove them, there's just a little silver push pin right there. So you just want to push it and pull out.
Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. Cumulus clouds all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often. But since recruiting isn't an option due to unusual rain and thunder, baby, I wonder, baby, I wonder, would you just put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me? Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Just say you will, will.